Welcome to my first impressions of Combat Mission Battle for Normandy. This highly anticipated and eagerly awaited for game is finally available on Steam. It's also one of the most beginner friendly entries into the series, so if you've ever been a bit nervous to pick up Combat Mission games due to their difficulty, this is the perfect game for you to pick up. And it's also in an awesome setting, which is World War II on the Western Front. And honestly, I thought I was tired of World War II games, but Combat Mission Battle for Normandy, really, I don't get that feeling when I play Combat Mission Battle for Normandy. It's beginner friendly just due to the reduced lethality, and that's just due to the setting. Also how it breaks up large scale tactical engagements and kind of reduces them into more small scale manageable scenarios. It comes with four campaigns as well as 21 standalone scenarios. I have the complete edition. I bought it a while back from the Battlefront store. So you're going to see a lot more scenarios and icons in my game. I'm playing mod free, so this is exactly what the game looks like when you download it and just fire it up. So if we click on this campaign button here, we can see all the campaigns that come with that it comes with if you have all the DLCs. How this video is going to be broken up is I'm going to display the campaigns. I'm going to show you the quick battle as well as the normal 21 scenarios. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the scenario editor, but more than likely we're just going to dive into some gameplay here in a moment. So here's all the scenarios that you'll get when you own the full and complete edition. If none of those icons have a green dot above them down on the bottom, down here in the lower left hand corner, that means it's a base scenario. And any, any icon with a green dot above it is a DLC that you need to buy. Ideally, I would like them to include the feature to hover over these icons and tell you which scenario you sh or which DLC you need to buy in order to play that campaign. Because that's something that I find super necessary. So we're going to hit cancel. We're going to go back one screen. On this screen, there is music that typically plays. It's currently paused or muted just due to YouTube and copyrights. Under the scenario, this is the same across all combat mission games. This is exactly what it looks like. And if you buy any combat mission game, you'll be fami familiar with the scenario editor. So if you have combat mission Syrian Warfare or Shock Force 2, not Syrian Warfare, um, then that's what your scenario looks like as well. Next, we're going to click on battles. Here's all the scenarios that you will get. Same thing as below, if you look in the lower left hand corner, a green dot will appear over DLC that you need to play that scenario. And if there are no green dots above it, then you do not need any DLCs to play it. They've also labeled some of them with MG, which stands for Market Garden. So there's all kinds of Market Garden scenarios. So there are different ways to identify them. BP1 right here, Battle Pack 1. And you do need some, some DLC to download this one as well. There is a vehicle battle pack that comes with it. Ooh, Commonwealth would be fun as well. So it kind of guides you in a normal direction, but there it is a bit finicky to identify which things to use. So if we hit cancel and we go down here to, I believe, save games or play by email, we're at Lost Cats 2. A platoon of 704 TD Battalion US took the wrong turn and ended up in a column of British troops somewhere on Hell's Highway. If you watched the previous video, then you will see that we are in quite the sticky situation. The next thing we're going to talk about is not so much the mechanics, but more the UI and how the game displays and allows you to play. There's two different modes in this game. There's a WeGo mode, which is the more turn-based, and there is a real-time strategy mode, which is, as it sounds, real-time strategy. The main difference between the real-time strategy mode and the WeGo mode is that you can't rewatch your turn in the real-time strategy mode, but you can pause it. So if the, the scroll wheel allows us to go up and down. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to jar you too much right there. I just wanted to display that. As you see, we've identified four Panzer tanks over there that we need to deal with. There's also some enemy half tracks. And the objectives are typically lined with these green lines. So right here, we need to secure this railroad. And then beyond that, we need to secure the farm. So as you see, we are in quite the sticky situation. And we've eliminated one hostile German unit so far. We have a small armored column moving up over here on this right-hand flank. And we're about to just throw punches with these German Panzers over here. I believe one of these, these are just Panzer IVs, late World War II. And we will, we have M18s. I almost said Pershings because I've been reading a book called Spearhead. But these are Hellcats. These are tank destroyers, lightly armored vehicles. But they can do a bit of damage. Well, they should be able to shred those Panzer IVs. So the UI is exactly what you'd expect from a real-time strategy UI, although it's implemented a bit differently. If I'm moving the camera too much, please let me know. If you click on a unit, you'll have several different fact, several, several different ways to move this unit. Fast, slow, reverse, hold down, move. Then each of these MCSA just allow you to either pause, have that unit pause in a position, pop smoke, open up, hide, acquire. 
if this unit had like RPGs or any resources on it, we could acquire them for our platoons. Under C would be combat. You can have target arcs. You can have face. You can have target briefly, target armored, and target. All those mechanics function differently, and they're in the they're in the manual. I've seen people refer to combat mission as a spreadsheet simulator, which I feel is really, 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 really wrong. Just because you have some way to manage your ammo doesn't make that game a spreadsheet simulator. I, I can't reiterate that enough. Like, I don't remember who I saw or who stated that, but I just remember feeling like that doesn't make any sense to me at all. It is not a spreadsheet simulator. So that's one thing. So the positives, I mean, obviously we're going to talk about the positives, and I'm trying to only focus on the positives on this channel lately, which has been really, really challenging as inherently I am not an extremely positive person. So as you see, we have a couple of troops that have been eliminated. The close combat is highly kinetic and extremely intense. We have a small engagement that's about to just take place right there. We have a German half track, a uh, Sierra Papa Whiskey 251, looking to crest this hill and engage our current troops that are currently pinned down that is going to be a bad time for everyone involved but our anti-tank is still up and running so i think this game just creates a really authentic experience i i can't really say that it's bad in any sort of the word i know like a lot of it feels like this camera feels really like janky but that's just engine limitations and they keep the game relatively up to date i mean this game itself is 10 years old I believe it released in 2011, and it is feature complete, but I have heard rumors that there is a new battle pack coming for it, which is really exciting. Um, as far as the positives, I mean, it's it's the Western Front. It's authentic. It's World War II. It's highly kinetic. It's highly tactical. You're going to have so much fun, and you're going to overuse the word highly in everything you say because that's just what you do when you try and make something sound exciting. But it's just insanely fun to me. I mean, anytime you get to use World War II technology on the Western Front, we have a small little joint operation going on right now. I mean, you don't see a lot of joint operations going on really in any real-time strategy game. It's always like, hey, you're playing with uh, the Americans today. And then that's it. Obviously, in like other games, you can have other PvP opponents. And I believe Flashpoint campaigns, you can actually create some fun little joint exercises. Look at this M18 Hellcat. The graphics, I mean... That they are what they are for a 10 year old game and i do play on my tv so maybe things do look a bit wonky someone comment a few people have commented on that as well you can hit tab and kind of do a view lock and see what this vehicle looks like this is our m18 hellcat completely out in the open and exposed looking to take on panzer fours let me know what you think of the graphics down in the comments below also if you enjoy military strategy tactics and doctrine and like seeing it applied to strategy games i guarantee this is the channel for you so make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that join button because it truly helps out the channel more than people would ever, ever know. So let's go take a quick look at the situation that's unfolding over here. We have a 50 cal. Let's hit tab. Let's zoom in. This vehicle is completely abandoned. It's up here. Actually, there's one driver in. We should probably pull him back with the re reverse command. We do have a small little infantry squad over here on the right-hand side. And it looks like they're going to engage that Sierra Papa Whiskey or SPW-251. We do have enemy mechanized forces. There are what is recreated in this game is morale. Obviously, morale means you get shot. It gets lower. You do need to be able to manage your troops. Um, goodness, I cannot think of the word. <sighs> endurance. They're endurance, guys. That means you run far, you get tired. I, I deal, this is World War II, so maybe physical fitness is not the most sought-after thing. We do have an M18 Hellcat that's currently been disabled. And we have no real anti-armor presence over here on this left flank. So hopefully our Piats can kind of engage that, that unit as it rests over the hill. We're going to hit next and just play this turn out. We are in the WeGo mode. And we're going to kind of watch to see how things unfold. I would like this guy to go slow. I don't want him just chilling. And I would like this infantry platoon. They do. Ooh, they have anti-tank. Could we kind of screw these tanks days up? We're going to go slow, baby. Slow, baby. And you're just going to be a distraction. All right. And that's just how you issue commands right there. So let me just demonstrate that real quick. The line of sight. I'm going to cancel this command. Why was I pulling you back? We're going to bring you right there. Just straight back. And you can kind of drag and move um, your orders around. So if we wanted to move this machine gun, this machine gunner up to provide fire support, we can have this vehicle kind of turn around because he's facing the wrong direction. And, and then we could delete all of those if we didn't like them, or we could just go turn around. 
and move forward. And that vehicle will turn and navigate up this hillside. So let's hit this turn. We currently have 54 minutes left in this scenario. We are going really fast the first six minutes. We're kind of crazy. We're going to, I don't really like zooming out. Too. Was that a penetration over there? Front. Oh, we got a hit. Baby, we got a hit. Uh, let's watch these Panzer IVs kind of move forward. This is what we need to keep eyes on. All right, who, are who did the he just? So these pans, so we have line of sight right here. So this is our line of sight. So if we get anti-tank into this position, we should be able to engage those Panzer IVs. I wonder if we can kind of move a uh, Hellcat up that position. Hello, Over here, we did have a penetration. We're going to re we're going to see what we have going on right here. These units ideally aren't engaging units that they should be, so this guy's kind of just standing alone out here. It is unfolding. They are panicking. We did get a penetration right here. This is one guy. Oh my god, that's an anti-tank. He just straight shot him with that cannon. Artillery is falling into that tree line. They are pushing hard left. All right, we do have a small engagement going on right there. Ooh, we can rewatch all of that because there was so, so, so much going on. So much. What even actually happened? Let's hit play. So let's just watch our one guy get absolutely smoked right there. So he just engages that unit absolutely. So this is where our main firefight was going on right here. So we take it back a few moments. He just penetrates that guy way off there on the left, and then we immediately return with, we respond and take out this SPW and begin suppressing it, penetrate the lower hall. That's an outstanding position by, what is this? Oh, that's our anti-tank. That's our anti-air that we moved up. Oh, that was such a good move on us. Oh, he's coming in clutch. So if they crest that hill right there, it is just going to be an absolute, absolute nightmare. He is pretty much done. Unfortunately, this guy, this platoon is absolutely just decimated. I don't think there's much I can do with it. Let's hit this done button. I don't, there's not much more we need to review in this turn. We could kind of, we can't even pop smoke right here. I wonder if we can just kind of crawl out of there slowly to absolutely nowhere. Try and get our, the remnants out. I don't think it's going to happen. Unfortunately, these guys are in a really bad position too. I kind of want them to face this other direction, so if we face them that way. We should should begin engaging those units. I also want them to pop smoke because it's just something they don't have any cover. So we're going to face that way. We're going to pop smoke. We're going to have a good time, and we're, go we're going to attempt to stop that little assault that's going on. Basically, this hillside, anyone who crosses this hill is just, ha just in for a bad time. Our anti-air is just coming in absolute clutch right now. Commanders, we're going to move them forward once the situation is mostly sorted out. And then we have no further... We need to mount these guys up. We're going to begin moving them fast to right here. And we're going to ensure that they're facing the correct direction. We clicked off them by accident. G for face. Right here, face. So as they move up, they should be able to engage this unit. This one is heavily suppressed, in my opinion. If he does have that heavy cannon on him, what does he have? We don't exactly know. A 37 millimeter high explosive, and it's actually been absolutely destroyed. So we're going to bound from this position. So this one unit right here is going to bound. We're going to move quick. We're going to just, from here, we're just going to move quick and continue upwards try and just stop just a bit short click right here and we're just going to face that general direction so if these guys do try and harass us a little bit like they're absolutely doing we're going to engage them that's going to be a good time hopefully that machine gun can't really mess with us we do have artillery available it is currently busy and denied hope these units over here are going to work with us we're going to close out artillery then we're going to drag over here to this right hand side we do have a headquarters unit. We're going to move them up a little bit. Try and just get some of these units in the battle facing certain directions. This is a recon unit. Everyone's going to move forward. This is our machine gunner. So what's going on with our machine gun? They are not mounted, but they do have line of sight from where they're looking, as you see. So this machine gunner actually engaged 
that unit way off in the distance, so that's really, really, really good for us. The more reallys you have, the more good it is. Enemy IFV right here. We're going to begin... I don't really want to pull up. Did these guys take any casualties fighting that tank? <sighs> the Piat's a bit damaged. He's good where he's at. What if we move him? Does he have line of sight out of the second floor? All right, get to that window, load up an RPG, and please put some rounds down range. Machine gunners, can we cause this guy to face? I don't really want to... I don't really want to like have like a really bad engagement right here. So these guys are going to acquire weapon systems from this vehicle. So if we click on him, hopefully we can get that RPG out, but it's it's a bit wonky trying to get it out. It looks like there's just the driver in there. So hopefully we can mount and get that RPG out. He does have a bazooka. All right, let's move this guy forward. This is our M20, our Mic 20. We're going to move him forward a little bit. I guess we're going to do a little bit of fighting. We do need to kind of get some units up there and provide some fire support. I wonder this guy only has a driver, which is unfortunate. I feel like we should be able to deal with this command unit quite effectively. We do have a machine gun up here. We do have several, several, several units. I want these guys to face this way so we can all just focus our firepower onto that one unit. I don't want them to be able to penetrate our front lines at all. If they penetrate our front lines, we're just in for a bad time. You guys need to mount up. What do we do with this? We have a really deadly unit moving up. We don't really want to sacrifice anyone, so we're just going to... They're just going to stay. I want that to be dealt with first. There's lots of Hellcats right here. I don't want to sacrifice a Hellcat. Again, we've already lost one Hellcat, so it's just not super ideal to just sacrifice another one for no reason. And then what do we have going on right here? Oh, my God. Another, what is this guy? This guy's in a machine gun. Sierra Papa Whiskey, 251, mounted up, driver, and gunner. He, he's just, he's in for it. Let's watch. Let's watch what happens. Like I said, this is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Next minute. All right. Let's see if we made mistakes. All right. Infantry moving. Panzers moving. Everyone moving. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Machine gun in a good position. Reversing. Pulling back. Machine gun in a good position. This guy's in an absolutely terrible position. Thank you for trying to crest that hill. All right. Suppress. Another vehicle knocked out. Machine gun team moving up, reversing. We should be able to deal with this machine gun team. We have a unit moving up here on that along that tree line. We have lines of sight on him. It shouldn't be. There it goes. There it goes. That anti-aircraft gun is going to suppress anyone it comes across. It does not approve of anyone's position. Smoke coming in nice and clutch. Panzers aren't really, really. So one, two, three. Machine gun team suppressed. Four, five. Ooh, that guy got... Why is this guy destroyed? Smoke and panzers. Nothing. All right, that was a good turn, good turn, good turn, good turn. These guys aren't dispersed adequately. I don't think what they're doing is good. I don't think they're in a good position. There's nothing to really review on that turn. I don't exactly know why this guy just insta got smoked, so let's just see why. See if we can locate it. All right, so who engaged him? Hit play. He's reversing. The bazooka. It's got to be that bazooka. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He knows, man. He's all like, yo, get out of here. That was straight at the bazooka. Let's watch. Yep. Outstanding, dude. Come to the fight. Get wrecked. These guys are in a perfect position. I mean, if these tanks move up, they're going to have a terrible, terrible time. I don't know the exact range of that p out, but it should be fairly close. We still can't really crest this hill. There is a small contingent of units over here, and obviously they're going to have their own Panzer Strex or anti-tank over in this general vicinity. So we need to be really, really, really careful. There's no driver. Mortar's fallen. That's the end of that turn. 
So I was feeling a bit overly cautious. I was feeling down. I feel like a lot of our tactical decisions were bad in initially, but we are doing much better this turn, these next c these last couple of turns. I do feel like we can overwhelm them, but we just can't deal with this nonsense over here quite yet, and we really can't crest the hill. Like They're making a lot of decisions, pushing really hard, and I don't feel like there's any decision we need to make at this moment in time to really change the situation. We could be overly aggressive and pull up an M18 and try and crest that hillside, but I don't have full line full line of sight and I don't want to push these M18s up quite yet. Those are our Hellcats. I would like to get this mortar team into position so I'm going to mount them. That's the end of our review. We're going to mount this mortar team and we're going to try and get into this tree line. So I think that's our next move with this mortar team. So do we have any anything mobile available? You guys are. So you're going to move faster right there. Once they're in they're going to mount. This is our Crusader. I believe this is another anti-air. Perfect for destroying infantry. These units are going to acquire some valuable weapon systems that are currently not available. All right, so these guys are going to acquire nothing. They're just going to be transported. So what do we do? We just, I think I just nice, we're just going to move. We're going to move, move. No, that's dumb. That's so dumb. Like we're just moving out in the open like we're some kind of like NPC. But I want to secure this tree line and we wanted to kind of break up some of our firepower and we know there's units over here on that left hand side. We do have good line of sight coverage right here on this right hand flank. So while it does feel silly, we're just going to do it. I think that's still like we just try and like get onto this hit tree line. I mean, ideally I want to or per I would like to stay near this tree cover so we could pull back and kind of have some cover instead of pulling off of this um, open area and just getting shot in the back. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to clear that or stop that. And we're just going to move. I think that's perfectly fine. We just move along this line, stay near-ish cover. We're going to delete. I don't like you. I don't like you. I still don't like it. We're just going to go like that. We're going to hit start. No real changes. We do know there's a machine gun team over here working to cross this line. We are breaking up some of these guys. These Panzers still aren't making a lot of crazy decisions. All right, there's that machine gun team we were expecting. And they should easily be suppressed and dealt with. Nice little pin. And they're, they're gone from line of sight. Not sure what I'm going to deal with them. I, I'm going to send these troops over there. That's what I forgot to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what just happened right there? Oh, that's not good. Who do we lose? Everyone. And our PIOT. Awesome. I wonder what happened. Extremely kinetic right there and extremely deadly. So we are locked into that mistake. Why are these guys clustering? You guys are You guys got to get it. All right. There we go. Bro, stay low. All right. We need to figure out what happened. We're missing. These guys just took a straight shot to the face. So let's hit play. What's going on here? Jesus. Man, I don't know. These guys are, I mean, it's a, like a perfect mortar target, but we got to get, I guess we, I don't know, really, really, really deadly. So these guys just need to just level one, get out of there. Why these guys are having such a hard time at existing, I'm not quite sure. But please get out of there. Managing infantry is really, 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 really difficult. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to play one more turn and see if we can kind of figure out the situation. These guys are moving up. We're not going to so far. We're just going to move up. We're just going to slowly creep. Just creep, creep like a little creep. That smoke's really, really good. I wonder, 
Would it be crazy if we just mounted W1 up, smoked, and just ran across that field? That would be so cool. A lot of our fighting force has been just absolutely decimated. I'm not even sure how I feel about the current situation. We haven't even gotten our tanks involved. We're really relying on our tanks right now. And I don't know. I don't know. Where's our mortar team? Did they mount? They have not fully embarked yet. So fast. All right, once they embark, we're going to move them forward. We do have, like, I feel like we're under a lot of pressure to execute this very quickly. I mean, we can kind of just not execute this really quickly. So just move. We're just going to push forward, push forward, and let's see what we can do. We're going to break these guys up. These guys are going to go slow right there. We're going to break them up because we don't want to get hit. Like, one mortar takes them all out. We can't go that way. We can't go this way. I still have no real positioning for these guys. We're going to dismount these this crew. Just going to move slowly right there. You guys are going to embark or disembark right there. Trying to penetrate this front line. So let's see what happens this turn. And then we'll do our final first impressions. I don't foresee anything really changing in this current situation. They probe with their recon. We probe with our recon. I don't see anything drastically changing. We're going to disembark. Our machine gun teams are going to move up. We are slowly crawling over because we know if we cross that hillside, we are going to have an overall terrible, terrible time. These guys are going to move slowly, and then soon their heads will be available to those take. Oh, my God. What is this guy doing? What just happened? No, bro. Don't miss. Don't miss. What are you doing? You can't just be, you can't just be missing. You... We're going to review that. Oh, my God. We just can't be missing like that. What is happening? You can't just be missing. Stop. Bro. 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 What you doing? Sorry, I dropped the mouse. What the... All right, we got to watch this play-by-play. -play. Hey, look, I'm a Panzer IV. Here I come over the hill. Oh, my God. All right, first Panzer, Cress. All right, he shoots a rifle at it. Easily, easy engagement. Two rounds to that first Panzer. Penetration, penetration, penetration. Mortars, fire, hall hit, front turret. Still suppressing with the machine gun, still suppressing. Come on, you need to get a round off. Outstanding explosion, outstanding armor hit. Two Panzers down. Front turret, machine gun suppressing, machine gun suppressing. Two Panzers still active, lots and lots of fire. That anti-aircraft is really doing a number on us. One is pulling back. All right, one eliminated, two eliminated. All right, we're going to watch it from our position. All right, play. What do you got? All right, turn, rotate, rotate that turret. Engages, misses, misses. Are you serious? This guy's right up front, right up front. This guy's no dead eye. Just look, bro. This is not the time to miss. It is not the time to, all right, wh where's our one Hellcat? What happened to this Hellcat? This guy just got absolutely just, I had a bad day kind of moment. Oh my God. So let's see how this plays out. All right, this guy's minding his own business. Rotates turret, rotates turret. All right, so this guy shoots at the same target who was absolutely destroyed. Weapon mount hit, weapon mount hit. And then he just, oh my god, bro. What's the reload time on them? Come over here. This, this Hellcat right here is just coming in clutch. 
easy penetration. Come on, what are you doing? All right, Panzer's Crest, Panzer's Crest. Target on. Easy, easy, easy. What does he do? All right, front turret hit, front turret hit. Suppress him with that machine gun. Miss, solid miss, solid miss. Second Panzer creeping, second Panzer creeping. Rotate. Who, who takes you out? Who takes that Panzer out? This guy. That guy's coming in clutch. God, man. All right. Who's suppressing with machine guns? Because that guy, whoever's suppressing with the machine guns is real. Oh my god. This is it. This is the bloodbath we've all been waiting for. Why, 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 why is it, who's this guy engaging? Who are you engaging and why are you doing it? Stop doing that. Stop doing that. All right. Jesus, dude, that machine gun team just like, bro, what are you doing? Don't crawl on the train tracks, you know? All right. That was dope. That was dope. That was dope, as they say in the 90s. That was cool. All right, guys. Peace.